Congratulations on your career, sir. Well, thank you very much. You know, Taba mentioned uh, she's bringing in a musical guest this week, this month. I didn't realize. I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. Going big time. She's a four-time Grammy-nominated uh, artist as well. I mean, we don't have a whole lot of those in, in the state, right? <laughs> yeah, Vince so. Gill, he got he got one a few. Which but, uh, you yeah. mentioned uh, yes, he sure. was in your band for a while. buddy of mine, yes. But yeah. a lot of great musicians in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it goes way back, you know, from... I know Bob Wills from Texas, but he lived in Oklahoma for a long time, and mm -hmm. people like that. I mean, the just, list goes on and on and on. What got you started in music? Well, my father was a fiddle player. My, I was raised in a family that had, was a musical, and I grew up in northern Oklahoma, right on the Kansas, Oklahoma. Caldwell, Kansas was okay. my address, but I lived on a farm in Oklahoma. It's kind of confusing to people. Mm -hmm. Both states claim me. <laughs> <laughs> Kansas well, claims I'm from Oklahoma, and Oklahoma claims I'm from Kansas. <laughs> America claims you. Yeah. But that's how I got started. My dad was an old-time fiddle player. What all do you play? I saw you had a mandolin over there as well. Yeah, I play, well, if you can play the fiddle, you can play the mandolin usually. Okay. You just have to use a pick. and uh, Turn it around a little bit. But Yeah, right. But anyway, it's, uh, to back to answer your question, uh, my, I learned from my dad. And then I got more interested in bluegrass music. See, bluegrass is not that old. It started back in the 40s, actually, Bill Monroe and Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs. And they were on the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville. You just mentioned Nashville. But uh, uh, so, I mean, to me, that's not that old. But a lot of people, they think, oh, that's really old. <laughs> but no, it isn't. And uh, so uh, we used to listen to them on the radio, KVOO out of Tulsa. Mm -hmm. You know, used to be you could get that all over the state almost. Mm -hmm. And, of course, Bob Wills was on there. And then you could get Flat and Scruggs on there in the, mo in the morning. They, they play early in the morning. Uh, so farmers could listen to them before they go out to milk cows or whatever. That's cool. That's cool. <clears throat> yeah, they and didn't have their iPods that they could no, listen they to didn't while they're on the tractors. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have iPods. <laughs> but uh, that's how you learn to play. You listen to other people. Hmm. And usually back in the old days, I mean, they, they knew where you were from, but the way you played. Hmm. Because like an accent. Right. Because you didn't travel very far from, you know, where you learned to play. So you picked up that style. And that's, uh, that was your... Well, you've been all over. Where's your favorite place you've played? Oh, boy. Oh, the music hall. Yeah. <laughs> My own music hall. There you go. <laughs> I have to say that. Your own in, in Guthrie. In Guthrie, yeah. Tell us uh -huh. about that. Yeah, uh, my wife and I moved there in 1995. We lived in Los Angeles for 26 years. So we decided to move back to her hometown, Guthrie. And uh, I wanted a place to play and have a music shop, you know, to house all my instruments I've collected through the years. How many instruments might you have? Oh, uh, too many. Yeah. You need to go there. <clears throat> you need to go to his. I have a lot. Shop. Okay. A lot yeah. of fiddles and guitars, banjo, anything with strings on it. Is what, what and, I. And he'll I give hear. you a full-on tour. Do nice. you remember our first meeting? Do you? You yes. remember when? So I had just moved to Oklahoma. This was about five years ago. I have three little redheads, and um, I was homeschooling them at the time. So every Wednesday we would go on a full-day field trip. So we went to Guthrie. Smart. And we hung out. We thought we were going to stop by his fiddle shop. We hung out for about four hours. So he was in the middle of a music le a, a lesson. Your sister was there. Oh. He had all kinds oh. of people there. And he just, we just pulled up chairs. And oh. so my kids got to see him in action. That's and then cool. we hung out, of course, and got the whole tour. And yeah, and they're all going to be musicians and stars too. So it sounds yeah. like you do some teaching. Oh, I do. I mainly teach on video, but I don't have time to teach on a regular basis hand on you know so I do it on a, really? on a video I have a video series cool not a series but just you know, lots of about 300 tunes or so that I teach licks cool. and stuff cool. like Where that. Can we find that just go on my website doublestop.com and you can find all that uh, that information there what else are you doing these days well besides uh, fiddling around I love to play golf Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, people say, when are you going to retire? And I said, what do you want me to give up, fiddling or golf? That's a hard decision. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> you know, so I love what I'm doing, and uh, I'll never retire as far as I'm, you know, yeah. I don't know what that word means. Right. Good for you. Yeah, well, absolutely. you sound fantastic. I mean, when you love to do something, I mean, why quit? Why stop? Yeah. You know. That's what life should be about, right? Right. Find out what you love to do. I feel like I've been on vacation for about 50 years. <laughs> 